how to use my larger teddy bear cutter set and make a scruffy teddy for your cupcakes. In my cutter set, I have an arm cutter, which you just swap over and cut opposite ways for the different sides of your arms. A head cutter, part of a belly cutter, so you've got a bit of a more of a bear, ear cutter to use each side of the head, and a snout cutter. So I'm going to show you how to make a scruffy teddy bear. I've rolled out some Saracino modeling paste, which is all I use for my characters. And I'm going to cover it with a piece of cling film. This is to get a bit of a rounded piece of icing for your bear's face. So cut the piece out nicely and gently peel back the plastic and you will have your little rounded head. Now to add the lovely scruffy texture and a, a sort of like a curly effect, just use a Dresden tool or you can use a cocktail stick and gently go around in a circular motion onto your piece of paste. Now the paste has only just been rolled out so it's lovely and soft. You don't want to leave the paste sitting too long before trying this as it won't work as well. Go around the edges, go around the sides and just gently in circular motions create a totally fluffy little face. And there you can see just how lovely it is to add the texture. Like I said, you can use a cocktail stick too. Now I've had these pieces ready made just so the video doesn't take too long. And I've got my two arms, my belly, my head and two little ears for my bear. Set them aside. And you're going to roll out some paste now to cut a snout. I've just used a lighter grey here. Whatever colour teddy I'm making, I usually make the snout just a lighter colour of the main colour. You don't need to use plastic over this one. You can just keep it straight as it is. Place this on the bottom part of the bear's face. You can use a little bit of sugar glue, but this was quite tacky, so it stuck nicely for me. And gently press down onto the face. Use a little smile tool to add a smile onto your bear. I used a Sweet Elite Arc tool to create this. And I used my Dresden tool to create a little line from the center of the mouth up to where the nose will be. You can just use a craft knife for this too. And you've got a smiley little face so far. So you're going to need some eyes for your bam. So just use a ball tool, press gently into the icing and don't go all the way through. You just need little eye sockets to place your balls into. Roll the balls out and pop them into the eye socket. You don't want these too big. You don't want them bulging out. You just want to pop them in. Two little eyes. I wasn't happy with the one, so I just rolled it again and just resized it. You can also use black sugar balls here, which is a lot easier, especially if you're making a whole batch of these bears. Now for the nose, just indent where you're gonna want the nose with a little ball tool. And I used black for the nose on this one and roll it out into an oval shape and pop into place. So you've got your nose. Now I'm going to cut out heart for the bear to hold. So just roll out some red paste and I'm once again cutting through the cling film here so that I've got a lovely rounded heart to place on the bear. I always find it's easier to cut, cut through the cling film if you've left the paste on the side just for a little bit to set nicely so it's not too sticky. If it's sticky it just means it sticks to the cling film but it's not the end of the world. Get your disc that you're going to work on, add some glue to the back of the belly and place this in and shape it towards the bottom of the circle. Next, I'm going to do the face or add the face. And then add the ears. I'm just using little bits of sugar glue here. Again, you don't need a lot, you just need it to be slightly tacky so everything sticks in place where it should be. 
Now add your heart onto the front of the body before adding your arms across it. I'm just neatening my heart up a little bit and adding the arms. Add the other arm. And tuck it in gently and onto in, to the heart. Now I just use a Dresden tool at this point just to fluff it up a little bit going up towards the head so it all kind of was blending in nicely together. Just tidy up if and where you think it might need a little bit more curl. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Let me know what else you'd like to learn from me and don't forget to subscribe please. Thank you.